Hi guys, welcome back to my ears. And today, I thought I'd kind of try and explain how to ride a motorcycle. Or how to ride it properly, anyway. So, experience isn't always necessary. However, it's good to learn your clutch, your buying points, how strong your brakes are. All that stuff, don't go straight into trying to be a boy racer. Always look ahead and always look for where you want to end up. Don't look at the, at the front of your wheel. Don't get distracted while you're going around the corner because naturally you'll want to go where you're looking. So if you're not looking where you're wanting to end up, then it probably ain't gonna go particularly well. Another thing is it's safe speed for the racetracks. Now obviously nice speed those in kilometers and the footage will look a lot faster than what it actually is. But right now I'm only doing 99 kilometers. So well within the speed limit. So yeah, such as this corner, look at where you want to end up and you'll just go around. Same again, looking at the middle and up at the middle. Just follow it around, I'm focusing on the O on the slow. Boom! As you saw, I hit the O. That's exactly where I was looking. And that's exactly where I ended up. Whereas if, for example, here, I'm looking at that 30 sign, and you can see I go wide. Obviously you still want to look around and check your surroundings, check the speed limit, all that stuff. But you want to be focused on where you're in where you're wanting to end up. Now I used to struggle with this because I used to love going, ooh, what's that? And as you can see I went to the left. I'm going around this corner, I'm not looking at the middle of the corner, I'm looking around the corner, where that grate is, and straight over the grate. Which isn't the best advice, or you could quite say the great advice, because you should always try and avoid slippery metal things. <coughs> and another thing is, is your positioning. Ideally, you want it, so you're kind of in the middle of the road when you're not following anything. Just so when you lean over on the right hand, like here, you're not going to be over the white line. Now on the left hand, I always put it in a little bit, sort of into lane one. Now I want to go across into the middle, looking where I want to end up. And back into a 30 zone. So you're still aware of your surroundings, but you don't want to be looking too long because otherwise you're going to end up going towards what you're looking at. So you've got three positions. You've got position one, or lane one as I call it. You've got position two, which is roughly the middle of the car. And then you've got lane three, which is the right hand side tyre track closest to the white line. And you can either choose to follow it. Like you can follow it around here like really tight, stay in lane 3. Again, I'm looking at where I want to go. Not where I've been, not where I'm already at. I'm looking at where I want to end up. And then when you board a 30 zone, you just give it a bit of a wiggle. You want them tyres nice and hot. And then, I'm in lane 2 because I can see over the car, people can see me behind this car. So if I was behind the van, I'd be in position three. Put a little bit of gap just so any junctions such as this one coming up, they can see that there's a biker behind. That's one thing, I'm quite bad for hiding myself. And I know a lot of other bikers are as well. Because they all sit up the backside and I think they're safe because they're following a vehicle. 
you've got someone on the opposite side of the road where they're stuck behind a tractor, they're waiting for any gap possible and they don't see you because you're hiding. Don't hide. It's good practice to kind of stick to lane three as a rule of thumb. So if I'm in lane three here, with a nice bit of gap, cars can see me, I can see them. Any junctions coming up, I can see. Yeah, that's a Maya's version of how to ride.